Is your scouting report on Utah? Um, so far, we've heard that they've been real hot in the conference, uh, shooting-wise. I think they won their last four. So uh, right now, we're just going to uh, kind of look at more film at them tonight and uh, kind of draw up a game plan at today's practice. Um, yesterday, we kind of went over them a little bit, but not as much. So uh, we have yet to kind of see what we're going to do with them. How'd your ankle get through the weekend? You feel back to normal? Yeah, I'm um, pretty good. Utah really relies on the three a lot. They lead the league in it, and you guys are obviously very good at defending the three. Just what do you think of that kind of clash of strengths? That that's something you guys are really good at slowing down and right. able to lead the league. Yeah, that's uh, that was one of the focal points that Coach made was that um, because Washington State is also a, a very big three-point shooting team, and um, he was saying that they're very similar to Washington State in, in terms of how they score their uh, their points. So. I mean, if anything, we're probably going to have to have some of the same emphasis of running people off uh, the three-point line, making them take uh, tough, contested sh twos, and uh, see where we go from there. You guys have played some of the tougher teams in the standings, and now you're going to flip it a little bit. Does this kind of feel like a, a critical stretch of games that you guys have to you know, string some wins together? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think right now, since um, we, we did kind of get off on the start that we did um, against those teams, which – kind of hurts because, you know, it was uh, uh, certain games that did kind of slip away from us. Um, but, yeah, with these games, we feel like that we have to kind of uh, use it to, to, to our advantage, not to discredit any of those teams. You know what I'm saying? They're very talented and very good. But we know that if we want to actually, you know, make a run for March, this is where it needs to start now. Kenny was talking the other day about a conversation he had with Bill Walton about kind of getting, getting more out of uh, his game offensively. What do you think Kenny's – ceiling is offensively what kind of a weapon can he be offensively yeah well I think I think when you have that kind of athletic ability when you're able to truly jump over people um you know your, your ceiling is extremely high uh his jump hook is something hard to to guard when he gets in the air um it's just more about uh him gathering himself and him uh you know having the confidence to do it so I think that's what we've just been kind of talking to him about is uh, having confidence and being a, a scorer for this team. Does he think of himself or has in the past thought of himself more as a defensive guy? Yeah. I, well, you know, I think I think that he goes into games really wanting to make an impact on the defensive end and the uh, offense kind of like lets it come to him. But I think now with the team that we have, he needs to try and uh, be more uh, aggressive offensively. For you guys as a whole, it's been a lot of up and down. What do you kind of contribute to the inconsistency, especially on the offensive end? Um, me personally? No, as a whole. Oh, oh um, well, I think uh, offensively, uh, you know, ever since Bo has got, uh, was, was, was out, um, I think, you know, it's been kind of a, a mashup of trying to figure out what we need to do, especially and then when Kenny went out, um, you know, we started to play uh, smaller, but now Kenny's back. Um, I think it's just more about just finding the rhythm. Kenny uh, was able to score uh, double double digits uh, last game, 20 points, and uh, you know I think he's a lot capable of doing that uh, for for us more often. Um, and uh, I mean, as far as everyone else goes, you know we know we have talented scorers, talented players on this team. It's just more so about uh, you know some nights might not be their night, it might just be another person's night, but just stay in the course. And uh, you know, handling their job on the defensive end if it's not going well on the offensive end.